Kenny Omega is someone that was involved in the skirmish at Brawl Out. So there are some things that Kenny can't and won't talk about because of NDAs and also because of who he's friends with. And also, it's drama that should not be brought up. It doesn't do anything for anybody because CM Punk is not here. But it is something that is being drudged up. It is out there. It is a hot topic. And so he went on a Twitch stream. I don't know if it's his Twitch stream, but someone's Twitch stream to discuss the big brawl out incident. Not all in last year, but brawl out from two years ago or almost two years ago in Chicago where CM Punk did the infamous media scrum where he ran down the EVPs and said they can't manage a target. And of course, ran down Hangman Page and Cole Cabana and then the brawl happened, NDAs pursued. You get the gist. You get the gist. The gif, the gist. There's probably a gift out there, but it doesn't really matter. Or is it gif? Does it matter? Kenny Omega went on this stream to finally speak out about everything. CM Punk, the incident. And I'm just going to play it. We are going to play the audio. If I have to edit it out, then you'll get a cut down version of the video. But I think I should be okay because it's just his voice. I think we'll be fine. There is some Street Fighter uh, background noise, but there's no music, so I think we'll be okay. And if it is one of those things where I might have to upload and edit some stuff out, trust me, it would have already been cut up by the time you're watching this. So regardless, enough of me talking. We're going to listen to Kenny Omega. I am going to pause and stop to give you my input on what he said. And then I will get your thoughts and the live chat and the comments on Omega's perspective. So without further ado, here is Kenny Omega. Just because I represent a company or because I'm a, I am an employee of uh, one company over another, does that mean I love every storyline? Does that mean that I agree with every decision? No, of course not. Um, I'm not the booker. I don't have power. I haven't had power for more than four years now in that company. And I know that's going to sound odd because like, well, Kenny, you're an EVP. I'm nothing. I am nothing. And I'll tell you why. It's because I'm a terrible EVP. I don't deserve to be an EVP. If people want to ask for my advice, I'll do my best to help them. If there's a fire to put up backstage, I'm going to do my best to be that person. Um, but if we go back, and I don't want to have to comment on it, but I'll do it just because, you know, it adds context to it. I thought my duty as an EVP during Brawl Out would be to enter the situation while there was chaos de-escalate it and create a peaceful environment for everyone. I was able to create a peaceful environment for the most important person in that altercation, and that was Larry. And I swear to God, honestly, that was my my biggest and then and, and yeah, it sounds funny, but like I look at animals and our pets as, as people and as you know, Dobby, of course, most, one of the most important people in my life. So to get little Larry out of there was the most important thing to me. And that was the success. Unfortunately, um, try as I may, things were too chaotic for me to be able to do anything by my own power. That was a moment when I had seen that there were... Good call. I believe it was in that instance when I realized that the way that I wanted to go about things wasn't necessarily the way that other people wanted to, was also the way that other people necessarily didn't want to. And then it was also maybe not the way that the boss wanted to take care of it. And So let's stop right there. So clearly the people he's referring to, one way certain people didn't want to go about it. Another way, another person did not want to go about it. And then the boss wanted to go about it. It's his way of saying Tony Khan, the Young Bucks, CM Punk all had different ways of settling this issue. He was the only one who felt 
this is a situation that we should probably discuss and talk about and de-escalate. Everyone else, well, Tony Khan had other ways of handling it too, NDAs. But the other ones involved, including a steel, said, nope, it's, put your dupes up, it's fighting time. Because them's fighting words, CM Punk. But I like the fact that at least someone was at least now coming out saying, let's try to work this out. Can we talk this out? Be adults. Now, did that happen? No. But if what he's saying is true, and he's telling us that his intention was to de-escalate, was to talk things out. He didn't really get it checked with his boys first. He assumed that they were there to do that. He assumed Punk was willing to listen. But he misread the situation. He didn't realize, oh, crap. I didn't think it would have gotten this bad. Like most of us probably would not have assumed because we're thinking these are professional wrestlers. But at the same time, you, you have to think, CM Punk was hot. He's coming off of a media scrum where he absolutely obliterated you and the Young Bucks as an EVP. Would it have been smart to go into his locker room at that moment? After he literally said to the world, I'm not that hard to find. Right? I think Kenny had the right intentions. He probably had the wrong timing. I would have confronted Punk the very next day. Give him some time to cool off. Call him. Text him. Yo, man, I don't know what that was. But can we talk about it? And since he has respect for Kenny Omega... I'm pretty sure Punk would have been like, yeah. So the timing was just bad. And also, Kenny not getting it checked with his boys, making sure that their uh, intentions aligned, their goals aligned here, that was also not a good, good way of going about things. But I like the fact that he was open and honest about him just not being a good EVP. And he's giving you examples of, well, you know... I could have done this better, this better, and this better. And you know what? That makes me like him even more. Because he's the first one so far from the brawl out situation. We haven't heard from anyone else, and we probably won't, who is admitting his own fault. I love CM Punk. And I'm gonna I'm gonna support CM Punk and defend CM Punk for the most part more than the Young Bucks, if I'm being honest with you. But even CM Punk, from what I'm hearing has yet to admit to, okay, I could have done that better. All right, I probably should have. The only thing I know about Punk admitting to something was during an ESPN interview where he said, I most likely should not have gone as far as I did with the media scrum. There are some things I regret saying. That's as far as he's went. But in terms of the brawl, nothing. So this is the first time someone has come out and said, all right, I could have done this better. And I don't know if I deserve to have this position because of what I did, because of what I was involved in. And I also like the fact that he's bringing up being an EVP, but he's he's admitting that I shouldn't have this role. I don't do anything. I give advice, but it's all Tony Khan. I am EVP in name only. I have no responsibilities. Most of the work that was done was with Cody and Tony. And then when Cody left, it was all Tony. Kenny just gives advice. I think he might have produced a few matches, but other than that, he has no say in the overall workings of AEW. And I think if he did, it would be a lot different. It would be a much different show. Would it be better? I don't know. But anyways, let's uh, continue. I just wanted to stop and talk about that. Let me back up a little bit. I just wanted to take care of it. And I am also, I also thought of myself as a liability because I am, I don't want to say old school. I'm not old school. I've just played a lot of contact sports and I've gotten into jujitsu and boxing and, and mixed martial arts. I just know that sometimes when, when you, when you perform or when you fight, when everything's on the line, when you give your heart, when you give your soul towards something, and you're in that moment of, of high stress or high anxiety where you've maybe emptied the tank and you're just physically exhausted. That was actually very impressive. Um, a good punish. Yeah. 
when we're in an environment like that, sometimes emotions get the best of you and people will want to throw hands. And in the case, and I'm unfortunately or fortunately a believer of it, I think if it's decided that, hey, this is the best way to solve things and you can shake hands after and move on after, I'm a believer. I'm actually a believer of fighting. <laughs> I, I... Let's stop right there. Thank you. I am so tired of hearing people say, well, you don't have to go to those lengths. There should be no fighting. If you guys fight, then you're, 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 you're not professional. You know, well, CM Punk threw the first punch. You shouldn't be throwing punches to your co-workers. What is this? I thought wrestling, professional wrestling, was a contact sport or a contact industry where men and women put their bodies on the line for our entertainment. Like any other professional sport, when you're on the field with football, whether you're on the court with basketball or on the hockey rink, hockey, doesn't really matter. When there's physical contact, usually, most of the time, whether it's right or wrong, we can sit here all day and argue that I don't give a shit, but that's expected. Fighting is expected. And when you have men and women who are constantly putting their bodies in harm's way and certain things do tend to happen out of your control, you're going to build up a lot of stress that's going to be heads button. Sometimes you can't get through that with talking. Sometimes, like Kenny said, hey, you want to go to, I was going to say pound town. <laughs> We're not going to, uh, not, not the right phrasing. Um, but you want to duke it out real quick? Get it out of your system. You want to get, let's, let's go outside. Let's handle this right now outside. Throw a few punches, shake hands, move on. Because sometimes there are certain, and I should know this because I've been in a situation like this myself. There are certain situations you can't talk your way out of. The only way to get through it is to duke it out. Let that person, or you get your shots in, you all get your shots in, you let that person get you, you hit them back. Shake on it. We good? Sweet. Now, the only people who don't understand this are people who've never been in a fight before, who don't understand contact sport. And I'm not mocking any content creators that say CM Punk was in the wrong for initiating the fight. Yeah, he initiated the fight. Okay. I, I just can't understand how anybody that's a wrestling fan who's been watching this for as long as I have, some longer than me, who have seen so many other incidents that are a lot worse than what we got with Jack Perry and CM Punk. The whole thing literally was CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk. CM Punk shoved Jack Perry. Jack Perry lunged at him. Headlock. It was over in five seconds. Separated. Are you serious? Arn Anderson stat sit vicious with scissors. Booker T and Batista got into an all-out brawl. Chris Jericho, this son of a bitch, got into it with Brock Lesnar after Brock Lesnar bloodied up Randy Orton at SummerSlam. SummerSlam 2016. Fights happen. It's going to happen in professional wrestling. As long as no one breaks their arm, as long as nobody is coming out with bruises or black eyes or whatever could result in a lawsuit. I agree with Kenny Omega, and I'm so happy. Goodness gracious. Kenny is the man. He's a real one. I'm so happy to hear him say what he said. Sometimes it is healthy. It is conducive to let these guys fight. Get it out of your system, because if you don't let it get out of the system, it festers into hate. So if you hate each other, I'm old school. And when I say old school, I mean exactly what Kenny Omega said. Look, the way I grew up was this. I was bullied. And um, it was it elementary. I was bullied. And my mom, my mother told me, and this is pure word for word. She says, the next time you see him, and this is something that her mom told her. 
the next time you see him, you have every right to get your lick back. She didn't tell me, hey, don't hit him back. Tell the teacher. She's like, next time you see him, you can hit him. She gave me permission. And the reason why she gave me permission, and she told me, don't worry, you won't get in trouble. By the way, didn't hit him. He stopped bothering me after that, but she gave me permission. And she gave me permission like her mother gave her permission. Her mom, my grandmother, was even worse. My grandmother said, hey, you go find him and you kick his ass or I'm kicking your ass. That was my grandmother. My mom was at least kind enough to go, okay, if he's beating you up, you can hit him back. You have my permission. Because she knows if you let him run all over you, if you let him do what he's doing, he'll keep doing it. Bullies only get put in their place when you show them that you're not going to be bullied. So, like, at this point in time, nowadays, I feel like, what do you tell your kids? When someone's bullying them, you go to the teacher. Sometimes that doesn't work. There are times when that can work. You go to someone higher. Sometimes that can work. But for the most part, this is an issue with you. He's bullying you. They are instigating poking you, poking the bear. No one else is doing anything about it. So what do you do? All right, I'm going to handle it myself. I don't give a shit that you don't like it. I'm sorry if you want to have this corporate mindset about life, but that's not how life works. Sometimes you got to handle it yourself. I'm so happy to hear Kenny Omega say this. You are absolutely right. Maybe he should stay in EVP, although I, I do agree that he, he and the Young Bucks should not be EVPs right now. But honestly, now that I'm seeing how mature he is and his perspective, I love it. I wouldn't mind him staying in EVP. He can stay EVP. The Young Bucks should definitely lose their positions, but we're not done. I'm pumped. All right, Kenny. He's a real one. Let's continue. I am, and that sounds terrible to say, and which is why, like, don't make me an EVP in 2024. You know, we can't do, you can't do that stuff anymore. I just feel that it's, sometimes that's how you have to settle things. Sometimes. And, and I don't mean you have to settle it and then it has to be shown on screen to everyone or people have to brag online about who won, who lost. No, like it's not for that purpose. It's for the purpose of just getting that stuff out that you need to get out. Thank you. Exactly. This shit should have never even leaked. It should have never gotten on TV. And the fact that Tony Khan and the Young Bucks were dumb enough to show the incident with Jack Perry and CM Punk an incident that should have never been leaked, that should have never aired, is one thing for the news outlets to leak it. But then here you go, arrogant on TV, to drudge up something that had nothing to be drudged up, and now you're using it for storyline purposes with the Young Bucks and FTR. And then for Jack Perry, I just put up a shirt about it. Jack Perry, calling himself the scapegoat, is going around mocking CM Punk, using his taunts. Apparently he used the, or tried to use the GTS at, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling's event last night. So we're using CM Punk, this drama, as like a way to build into a storyline on TV with characters. And it's stupid because it's not going to lead to anything. You're going to generate this heat for getting CM Punk fired. That's going to lead to nothing because CM Punk is not there. If Punk was still there or he came back, now we got something, because it leads to a match with CM Punk, the guy you got fired. You want to see him come back and whip your ass, so you're getting your comeuppance. That's how you generate money. That's business. But Punk is not coming back. He's in WWE doing other things. So you're generating this heat. What are you going to do with that heat? You're going to have, what, Darby Allin beat you? What is that going to do? What will that achieve? Mostly nothing. You'll get some heat out of it. You'll get something out of it. But in about three to six months, when CM Punk has moved on, to Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes and maybe The Rock, maybe others, and creating new stories and bringing some notoriety back to wrestling. Why? Why in God's name would anybody give a shit about what happened at Brawl Out, let alone all in with Jack Perry? It was stupid to show that footage. It was idiotic. 
and I'm so happy. Once again, Kenny Omega is speaking facts. I'm not done with them yet. Let's keep going. And um, I mean, I'll even I'll I'll admit there were there were a number of times even now with me where I thought that that might have been the most appropriate answer. It never came to that. We were able to talk things out, and we became better friends. And there was a level of respect at that point on between myself and these other parties. Maybe I'll share these stories later. It's um, but I I always it's it's crazy. As much as I believe in cooler heads prevailing, sitting down and talking, sometimes it was just like, hey, I can't even think straight until I start throwing some hay, you know, and or maybe that I need to be smacked around a little bit, whatever the case might be. I think if it's a contained scenario and if it's not a situation where it's, you know, there's like pulling people's eyeballs out, you know, low blows, hair pulling or scratching, you know what I mean? If it's just like, hey, let's just let's just hang and bang a little bit. I I I can see it sometimes being conducive for a positive work environment. Again, this is exactly why I have no power nor should I. So that that's just how I feel. And I'm going to I'm going to leave it at that. What's my status with Punk right now? Did I ever have a chance to talk to him? Status of Punk right now? Um let me pause it really quickly before he gets into CM Punk. Everything he said about fighting being conducive or healthy for a wrestling environment. If done in the right context, in certain situations, if it's contained, maybe not fight right before a match, that I will give to the criticisms of everybody that's that's um hating on CM Punk and the brawl out. Like, okay, you guys getting into a fight, fine. Did you have to do it before your match with Samoa Joe? Did you have to get into a fight Right after you had All Out. Couldn't y'all have waited? Like, taking it to a parking lot somewhere and duped it out? I will give you that criticism. But sometimes, once again, the best way to let people get past it is to just let them beat each other up. Your favorites, your Bret Hart's, your Shawn Michaels, your Ric Flair's, your Austin's, your Rock's, your Undertaker's, your... Your Edges, Adam Copeland's, your Kurt Angles, your Rey Mysterio, even Rey Mysterio. Every one of them, at some point in time, Sting, Ultimate Warrior, Randy Orton, Goldberg even, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, all of these legends, Dusty Rhodes, Billy Graham, oh my god, back then especially, Bruno San Martino, Andre the Giant, don't get me started on him, Hulk Hogan. All of these performers at some point in time have been in a skirmish. They brawled it out, they fought it out, and they moved on. This is what professional wrestling is! You don't have to like it, but that's the nature of the beast! This isn't kindergarten. This isn't um, some corporate CEO job. You know, if you're uh, if you're a corporate suit, yeah, punching someone should be a firing offense. I understand that. These are people who don't wrestle. These are people who've never fought a day in their life. A UFC fighter. Like, imagine if this went to court. Imagine if a judge was to bring in CM Punk and the Elite, and they're like, it hit me. And CM Punk hit me. The judge will toss that shit out. Don't bring that shit in my court. Wrestling is a contact sport, right? Well, head to your shit inside the ring. Get out of my courtroom. So stupid. He threw the first punt. Okay. He was an asshole for that. And? Now what? Oh, he's evil. You know how many assholes that you watch and you love? Bret Hart is an asshole. I love Bret Hart. But he's an asshole. Shawn Michaels is one of the biggest assholes ever. But I love me some Shawn Michaels. One of the greatest of all time. But Rock has had some asshole moments. Austin especially. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh my God. Hulk Hogan. Oh my God. That don't work for me, brother. Everybody at some point in time in wrestling. Chris Jericho. Kurt Angle. Has been an asshole. So why are we condemning CM Punk? 
for something that everybody has been. I don't want to hear anyone go, well, he was an asshole. I agree. He could have handled it better. Sorry not everyone is Mick Foley, who, by the way, also got into fights backstage. But regardless, could he have handled it better? I agree. He didn't. So what? He's evil? He's done? Fire him? Why was everybody so quick to kick out CM Punk from wrestling? Because they never liked him to begin with. Admit it. You're a CM Punk hater. You hate the fact that people like him more and you don't understand it. That's your personal issue, but you project it onto everybody else. CM Punk is no more than an asshole than anyone else in wrestling, one of your favorites. And if you can't admit that, we shouldn't be having this conversation. And I'm not trying to hear what you have to say. I can sit here and admit that CM Punk was in the wrong. But I'm not going to say he was the only one in the wrong. And I'm not going to sit here and say it's all his fault either. And if that wrong was, oh, wait, he initiated a punch... I'm sorry. This is professional wrestling, right? Okay. Let's finish it up. Here's what Kenny Omega had to say about his relationship with CM Punk. I don't know. It's just mutual respect. We uh, reached out to each other. Um, Thanks for teabagging me. Sorry. Yep. It's rampage time. I don't think uh, No, it's it's. It's, that's the thing. It's like it's not like, hey, we're good now. It's we're never bad. We on, honestly, oh, yeah. if it weren't for a complete other um, factor, NDAs, NDAs, there, there's certain things that they can't talk about because of NDAs. Just wanted to point that out. Actually, no. So it might be other factors as well. It could be NDAs, but it also could just be the fact that. The Young Bucks are his friends, and he doesn't want to cause any drama with them. And, of course, conflict of interest with Tony. It could be one of those issues, but you know. Let's continue. Um, we would have been able to have that talk on the night of Brawl Out. There's, yeah, there's there's no issue between him, him and I, as far as I know. I don't think there is at all. I don't want to seem standoffish or, like, secretive about... Um, what what happened like yes there's legalities and all that s stuff but even if there wasn't i know this will sound weird because i've done a lot of comedy stuff in wrestling but like i'm actually not a huge fan of like pulling back the curtain on stuff that doesn't need to be out in public that's what i'm saying like if for whatever reason guys were to fight or whatever like it's not for the public to know that's just for them to air out their stuff to get it out of their system that's all i mean and that's all that needs to be said. I was always a fan of Kenny Omega. I've always felt Kenny had the right head on his shoulders. I just hate. I really do hate that he was involved in this. I hate that Kenny had anything to do with this brawl out situation. I, I really just believe that the Young Bucks, Hangman Page, Cole Cabana, and all their friends are high school fucking bitches poking the bear and then got mad when the bear bit their heads off. Shut the fuck up. I'm not going to sit here and get behind the Young Bucks or Jack Perry. Y'all deserved to get punched if you did it brawl out. You deserve to get put in a goddamn headlock. You deserve more. You're lucky you got that. I dare you. To poke the bear when that bear is the undertaker. And I guarantee you a taker would have broken their fucking arms. No one would be like, uh -huh, uh, well he shouldn't have, he should have been a bigger person. The right way and the right things to say is what Kenny Omega said. That is reasonable. He's not absolving CM Punk. He admitted that CM Punk should not have done that. He even said, like, you can't do that stuff now. But he understands, which is what I've been trying to say. I've been trying to say that. I completely get why CM Punk threw hands at the, if he threw hands at the Young Bucks. We don't know. We weren't there at all out, brawl out. We're going off of what was recounted by reports. I completely understand him pushing Jack Perry and trying to choke his ass out. I get it. I get it. 
Is it right? Was he in the right? No. Could he have handled it better? Yeah. Welcome to professional fucking wrestling. This is how it is. This is how it was. This is how it always will be. It's a contact sport. Fights are going to happen. Stop acting like that everything is hunky-dory, corporate, everybody's backstage hu hugging, loving each other. When you have a shark tank like the WWE, like AEW, people want to get to the top. People want the glory. People are going to butt heads. When you're old school, new school, whatever school you're in, you are going to get into a fight. As long as no one's arms get broken or their careers get ended or no one dies and they just come out with a couple of bruises, not even that. Like, if they, they got into a fight and then everything was good, I think that's a good thing because they got it out of their system and now we can move on. The fact that these two, Jack Perry and CM Punk, so they had their fight, and now one of them gets fired, the other one suspended, but now he's coming back. Instead of making them work it out, instead of being a leader and making money off of it, now you've gone and done the one thing that you should not have done, which was embarrass AEW. With all this crazy shit with Jack Perry and CM Punk's altercation being aired on TV, the drama getting out there, the Young Bucks trying to paint CM Punk as this evil monster who ruined AEW, and then you see the footage and you go, y'all are pansies. That's what ruined AEW? That's what almost ruined All In? It's a horrible look for everybody involved. You tell me when I'm telling lies. But I'm happy to know that Kenny Omega is a voice of reason. And I hope he, he should stay EVP. I, I'm cool with him being EVP because I like his perspective. And he seems very mature. And people trust him. The Young Bucks, absolutely not. They need to lose their positions. They could be EVPs on TV. But as actual EVPs, get them the fuck out of those positions. Put in a Brian Danielson. Put in a Chris Jericho. A Christopher Daniels. Someone who actually understands the business and can work with talent. John Moxley, a Claudio, if you want. I don't care who it is. They need to work with talent. Okay? Sweet. All right, that's my thoughts. Give me your thoughts about what Kenny Omega said, how we feeling about it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? As always, you are welcomed here in Alex's world. So as you follow out, do all the YouTube things, like the video, subscribe, and click the bell to catch all my content when it comes out. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Donate using PayPal, Patreon, Cash, and Venmo. Love you all. Catch you guys next time right here in Alex's world. A place that is, was, and forever will be a safe space for wrestling fans like you. Oh, when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're,